Advances in our understanding of schizophrenia have led to the idea that schizophrenia is ultimately a neurodevelopmental disorder involving dysfunctional cortical networks that impact a wide range of circuits leading to the symptoms of schizophrenia, including cognitive impairment. In healthy individuals, the cortical network of glutamatergic pyramidal neurons fire in sync, and this synchronized firing is believed to underlie cognitive functions such as working memory and sensory processing. In schizophrenia, this cortical network fires asynchronously, leading to cognitive impairment associated with schizophrenia, or CIAS. Here, in Part 1 of this four-part Mechanism of Action animation series, we will discuss how detrimental CIAS resulting from cortical network dysfunction can be to the overall well-being of patients with schizophrenia. In Part 2, we will take a closer look at the cortical network of excitatory glutamatergic pyramidal neurons and inhibitory GABAergic interneurons and see how hypofunctional N-methyl deaspartate receptors, NMDAR, on GABAergic interneurons contribute to the imbalance of excitation and inhibition that results in an asynchronous network and CIAS. In Part 3, we will dive into the structure and functioning of the NMDAR in order to fully appreciate Part 4, where we will examine the potential of boosting glycine by inhibiting its synaptic uptake by glycine transporters as a way to address NMDAR hypofunctioning and restore the cortical excitatory inhibitory balance as a novel treatment for CIAS. The symptoms of schizophrenia are characterized as positive and non-positive. Positive, or psychotic, symptoms include hallucinations and delusions. Positive here denotes how patients with schizophrenia see or hear more relative to healthy individuals. Non-positive symptoms are also important features of schizophrenia and include negative and affective symptoms as well as cognitive dysfunction. Negative symptoms, which include things like social withdrawal, amotivation, and anhedonia, are so designated because they represent deficits compared to healthy individuals. Patients with schizophrenia experience less joy less motivation, less engagement than their healthy counterparts. The cognitive impairments in schizophrenia include deficits in attention, working memory, information processing, cognitive flexibility, and social cognition, to name just a few. Although the focus of treatment has historically been on positive symptoms, clearly evidenced by our reliance on dopamine D2 blocking antipsychotics, an overwhelming abundance of data show that it is the negative and cognitive symptoms that greatly impact the day-to-day -day functioning, long-term outcomes, and quality of life for patients with schizophrenia. In fact, CIAS is now considered a core feature of schizophrenia, being present in at-risk adolescents and before the onset of positive or negative symptoms. Cognitive dysfunction can really be seen as the backbone of virtually all symptoms of schizophrenia. For example, the positive symptom of auditory hallucinations is not just a matter of hearing a voice that is not actually there. It is a matter of how that voice is attended to, interpreted, and responded to, all of which relies on cognition. Similarly, a negative symptom, such as anhedonia, is well known to represent dysfunction in salience, reward, and related cognitive circuits. To put it simply, when it comes to schizophrenia, all roads start at and lead to impairments in cognition. Although CIAS affects up to 80% of individuals with schizophrenia and severely impacts quality of life and personal, societal, and economic outcomes, 
our currently approved D2 receptor blocking antipsychotic treatment strategy to target positive symptoms does little in the way of dressing CIAS or other non-positive symptoms. In fact, blocking D2 receptors throughout the brain may worsen non-positive symptoms, including CIAS. It is therefore unsurprising that recent efforts, such as the National Institute of Mental Health's Measurement and Treatment Research to Improve Cognition in Schizophrenia, or MATRIX initiative, have brought a call to action for researching and treating CIAS. Efforts such as the MATRIX initiative have resulted in a more clear understanding of how imbalance in cortical excitatory glutamatergic and inhibitory GABAergic signaling due to hypofunctional NMDAR may be the driving factor behind symptoms of schizophrenia, including CIAS. In subsequent parts of this animation series, we will take a much more in-depth look at this cortical network, its asynchronous nature in CIAS, and how boosting glycine to correct for NMDAR hypofunction may work as a potential advancement in the treatment of CIAS.